What's going on, everyone? Charlie here, talking about your favorite subject of computer share. We're going to talk about the real end game. As um, I've found some more documentation that, uh, kind of by accident, that makes a lot of sense. Now, um, of course, it all re relates back to the operational arrangements that no one wanted to read this year. But, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, you know, if you're still in that mindset of uh, I'm a shell and, and I'm wrong about this. Uh, just keep in mind, you're arguing with the DTC itself and literal documentation from the DTC describing how this all works. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this is the uh, comment letter we're taking a look on or taking a look at. This is from Daniel E. Thike. He works at the DTCC. He's a managing director. This was sent April 14th, 2016. And it was in uh, response to the transfer agent regulations that came about um, later that year. So the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation or the DTCC appreci appreciates this opportunity to provide comments on the Securities and Exchange Commission, advance notice of proposed rulemaking concept release, and request for comment on transfer agent regulations. This letter provides one relevant background about DTCC and its interaction in particular through its subsidiary, the DTC, with transfer agents as part of the clearance, settlement, and asset servicing system, and two, our comments in response to the questions posed in both the notice of proposal and concept release portions of the release. As explained in more detail below, we strongly support the SEC's efforts to replace an outdated regulatory scheme with one that seeks to ensure the safety and soundness of transfer agents as part of the modern clearance and settlement process. DRS helps the DTC. This is what they want. You're going to find that out. DTC is the U.S. Central Securities Depository, or CSD, and performs a critical function in the national clearance and settlement system. Transfer agents also perform a vital role in the national CNS system, providing various services as agent of issuers and participating in DTC's FAST Automated Securities Transfer Program, or FAST program. Transfer agents admit, admitted to the FAST program act as custodians for DTC with respect to securities issued by the issuer, for which the transfer agent acts as registrar. For example, DRS. FAST agents are responsible on DTC's behalf for maintaining records of securities ownership by DTC in its nominee's name, Seed & Co., as well as vital records of issuances into and withdrawals from the DTC system. DTCC also believes that the capital markets generally and the goals of the current rule proposals, more specifically, would benefit from continued commission support for the elimination of paper certificates for depository eligible issues in line with the proposed covered clearing agency standards. So as you all know, DRSing your shares, which is impossible because it's a noun, when you use the DRS system, you are deregistering your securities from their physical form, giving those physical forms to the DTC, and then transferring your stuff to virtual ownership and book entry form. We believe that as de de uh, dematerialization becomes a reality, all transfer agents will either become fast agents or into or enter into correspondent relationships with fast agents as a condition of their registration with the SEC or any other primary regulator. So the way they want it is if you want to, you know, stay a member or register with the SEC, you're going to have to conditionally you know, comply with these fast requirements, which is exactly what they've done. Now, Infinity Pool, uh, no, you're decreasing DTC's risk by DRSing, which again, is not possible. It, it, can you all at least just change the way you're saying it? Stop saying DRSing your shares. I mean, that's evidence you don't even know what the DRS system is. It's a noun, not a verb. You cannot DRS anything. Anyways, introduction. Transfer agents are significant stakeholders in the national CNS system and their safety and soundness is vital to the industry. By its very scope and focus, the TA release recognizes that transfer agents are significant stakeholders in the national CNS system. From DTCC's unique perspective, as reflected in the TA release and elaborated upon in this comment letter, all transfer agents, but particularly those admitted to DTC's FAST program, play an important role in what is commonly referred to as the indirect holding system, including the services provided by DTC as the US CSD. For these reasons, DTCC supports the Commission's efforts to adopt comprehensive regulatory standards governing the safety and soundness of transfer agent operations. Indeed, throughout the TA release, the Commission has identified significant risks to the marketplace associated with transfer agent services. 
The proposed rulemaking is timely and necessary to ensure that transfer agents are subject to clear standards designed to mitigate risk to themselves, issuers, investors, and the national CNS system. So overview of DTCC and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Uh, I'm going to skip this right here. I'm just going to read the DTC stuff here. Now, DTC as the USCSD is the DTCC subsidiary that interfaces most directly with transfer agents. Comments set forth in this letter are presented from DTC's vantage point. DTC is a limited purpose trust company organized under the New York State Banking Law, subject to regulation by the New York State Department of Financial Services. DTC also is a state member bank of the Federal Reserve System, subject to regulation by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, the place where we see all the repo action going on. DTC currently provides custody and asset servicing for 1.3 million securities issues. Securities on deposit are valued at approximately $45.3 trillion. As the nation's CDS, DTC serves a critical function in the national CNS system. And by the way, when you're using DRS, DTC is the only available clearing possible. They're the only entity that can clear through those systems. Are you feeling shilly yet? <clears throat> now, DTC and its relations with transfer agents. This one's important. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Again, I've already gone over all this. I've already, I've already made videos on all this. But this is further proof of why I was correct. And I will not change my position because you cannot argue with documentation. So we're going to read this right here. Of particular note is the relationship between DTC and those transfer agents that are part of DTC's FAST program, like ComputerShare. Transfer agents admitted to FAST act as custodians for DTC. That right there debunks the whole argument. And in that capacity, perform important functions in the national CNS system. For securities that are part of the FAST program, the FAST agents hold the securities registered in the name of DTC's nominee, Seed & Co., in the form of global balance certificates for each QCIP except that for exchange listed issues that are fully participating in DTC's direct registration system, FAST agents are not required to maintain a balance certificate. As DTC participants deposit and withdraw securities from DTC or deposit and withdraw securities directly with the transfer agent using DTC's direct or using DTC's deposit and withdrawal at custodian service, the FAST agents adjust as appropriate the number of units or dollar amount of outstanding securities reflected by these global securities updates its books and records accordingly, informs DTC of accepted and or rejected transactions, and electronically confirms to DTC end of day outstanding balances for the relevant securities. Thus, as opposed to this traditional system where all seed and co certificates may have been held by physically on deposit at DTC, the FAST system has decentralized physical custody and related record keeping functions so that DTC's inventory for FAST issues would be held by the FAST agents on behalf of DTC as the CSD and Seed & Co. as the registered owner. This is helping them, not you. This, reduced, this reduces the movement of certificates between DTC and transfer agents, thereby reducing the costs and risk associated with the creation, movement, and storage of physical certificates. I mean, anyways. Oh, forgot to read some. Given the important role of played by fast agents, custodians for securities deposited uh, by DTC, DTC is particularly attuned to the safety and soundness fast agent operations. Wow, that was not written right. DTC has long supported initiatives to address the risks posed by fast agents that would take into account the increased volume and value securities processed. Number two would reflect the current availability, improved technology, and other safeguards would enhance the safety and soundness of securities held in FAST in the name Seed & Co. on participant accounts. And then the third one cut off. I'm not going to read that one. So transfer agent safety and soundness, DTC's perspective. Although, as noted in the previous section, the national CNS system has made great strides in furtherance of dem dematerialization. This does not eliminate or even diminish the need to adopt a robust regulatory scheme governing the safety and soundness of transfer agents as now proposed by the commission. The TA release has identified various transfer agent activities that pose risks to the national CNS system and thus justified the adoption of comprehensive regulatory scheme. The books and records and internal processes of transfer agents involving both electronic and paper transactions 
are significant elements of the overall system, and if anything, their integrity has become more important as trading volumes and values have increased, markets have become more uh, instantaneously reactive to disruptions, and the role of a transfer agent has become concentrated in a small number of major firms. The real end game. Here it is. From DTC's perspective, if, for whatever reason, a transfer agent was unable to balance its records with DTC, the accuracy of DTC's allocation of securities positions to its participants could be called into question. Pending resolution of the discrepancy, DTC may chill deposit activity or suspend book entry services in order to avoid exacerbating discrepancies. This would not only be disruptive, but could impact the market for the affected issues and, indirectly, the entire market. DTC would be in a similar situation where a transfer agent suddenly to go out of business or suffer a serious system outage, which both scenarios have actually happened. Any prolonged loss or unavailability of issuer or customer records would likely result in DTC suspending various services with respect to the affected issues. Corporate actions, including reorganization events and new issue distributions, could face delay or suspension. They're basically saying, if any fuckery happens with the float, you know, the thing that Reddit is trying to accomplish, they are going to suspend dividend payments, mergers. They could delay dividend payments, mergers. They could stop allowing GameStop to trade altogether. They can do all this stuff. So again, just trying to warn you, it's stupid. If any of these failures materialize in the context of a significant corporate transaction or during a disruption in the capital markets, the impact would likely be amplified. All of these concerns support the Commission's adoption of a comprehensive regulatory scheme to mitigate the risk posed by transfer agents, financial or systems failure, as well as traditional concerns with fire, theft, etc. Again, the reality that the system has remained stable for many years is not a justification for complacency. Effective risk management means taking account of extreme but plausible scenarios. There have been instances where disputes between transfer agents and issuers have required DTC to suspend or chill physical securities transactions, for, in other words, deposits and withdrawals, until the conflicts were resolved. There have been limited, extreme cases as a result of issuer transfer agent discrepancies. DTC has had to cease all book entry services for an issue, or global lock, because the validity of a transfer agent record of a seed and co balance and or shares outstanding has been called into question. This resulted in discrepancies with the seed and co-balances versus DTC participants, whose DTC accounts reflected positions that were no longer represented in offsetting custody in the agent's fast balance with DTC. They have a checks and balances system in place. You are not going to get past that. Lo siento, my friend. It will not happen, no matter how angry you get. Okay? So the thing nobody read except me, and you can find all this information, again, from the first document I started reading from, the DTC's operational arrangements. So I would recommend going back and taking a look at that because you couldn't be more wrong about the DRS system. Have a good one.